Welcome back to Mystery Mondays, the Monday mystery show. Uh, we're still in Syria on Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. I did some light cheating just to make sure, <laughs> just to make sure I wasn't wasting my time. Probably could have figured this one out, but can't unread the walkthrough. We finally have a use for this disgusting old tissue. This paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. I'm still not sure what I need this needed this towel for. So that, that got me so angry at the end of the last episode. But let's let's hawk this fake this fake antique to this old lady. Let's commit a fraud. Hello again, Pearl. <laughs> Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Uh, wish I could say the same to you. How, here, how about this? <laughs> George likes this person. George, George is a weirdo who has a kin feels a kinship with all Americans. Similar to that modern one you showed me. Ah, I didn't show you that. The other one was a replica. That's because that's because the George showed you was a modern copy of this one, and and I sought out the artist who done the copy and bought the original. Yeah. And she's just gonna. George, how can you ever forget? <laughs> Frank, she's just gonna buy it right away, f fall for it. I ever, I'm not carrying the money. I have to go ask Duane. Pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. Your accent just changed all of a sudden. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, George. Yeah, it changed Don't back. Be a <laughs> She she's doing like six different Southern American accents. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fellow? And him, <laughs> I I don't even know what's going on with him. He's like got a northeastern rural thing going on, but also with all sorts of other. <laughs> and they live in Ohio. Uh, this. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. It's yeah, just grease. I, <laughs> I don't know what... Upside down. Boy, your leg's better than ours. Looks Roman. Oh, I thought I he said look Roman. I thought he was calling me Roman when I was... I didn't see the S. See you want, George. Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... $50. <laughs> take it or leave it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here you go. All right. And here you go. These two idiots. This will come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Why did you say that like you were winking? Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. <laughs> oh no, he's just walking back and forth again. I thought he was going to go uh, convene with his wife about his new find, but he just just went back to his normal walk cycle. Back, back to the left. To the right, <laughs> to the left, and to the right. All right, cockhead, I have fifty dollars now. Can we go? Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Bull's head. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid? Place? Sure. Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only fifty. Uh huh. Yep, okay, let's do it. Deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. Mister. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, now I'm starting to understand why uh, the boy was uh, was ne Neela, whatever the boy's name was, talking shit about this guy's English. It's it's not as good. Take off with the toilet keys. So I left. Didn't seem right. Okay, George. You will. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Are we just done? Is this all unnecessary? Let's go. Hello again. <laughs> Why you make me do this? <laughs> Why is the game making me do this? The one thing I could think of that I st would still need to get here would be the toilet paper roll. And George uh, locked the door behind him and then put the keys on the. I don't care. Let's go. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! Doesn't matter. With your checky board caps and your Judd Hershey's. 
You have what? lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There, you have I don't care. What does it matter, George? It's a vehicle. <laughs> you started this, George. <laughs> God damn it. This is why they didn't. A belt. Can I just use a towel? Can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. Uh. One day? Maybe six? I can't wait that long. We gotta get moving. Why? <laughs> I'll think of something. Uh, is this a belt? Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Paper towels. You're gonna replace the belts on your car with paper towels, huh? <laughs> That's what you're gonna do? The towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With what? <laughs> he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now! It's absolutely... I wouldn't trust it with stockings. Very serviceable, yes. Very serviceable indeed. But on a truck... The coarse toweling did the job nicely. What are you talking about? Is this just literally a towel? Yes. It said paper towel, didn't it? And it, they weren't all just like it's a. It was a dispenser, not a. It was looped on itself. But I'm. I'm not sure. I. I don't. Maybe it's a Syrian thing. I don't know. I was. I was old enough when this game came out that I I think I would remember if public restrooms had <laughs> paper towel dispensers, but instead of paper towels, it was regular towels looped on themselves. <laughs> I think I would know that, but I don't know. Never been to Syria in the 90s. <laughs> what is this? Why are we looking through somebody's telescope? Okay. Who's watching me? <laughs> Who's doing this? Who was that point of view that we were just at? George, I think you need to be a little bit more paranoid. Or a lot more paranoid. Why, why did we take that? I've damaged that tree enough for one day. So we'll come back tomorrow and <laughs> break off the other branch. <laughs> have a look at the tree I guess the tree grew at the edge of the drop Tr speaking of drops you want to jump <laughs> want to jump George was that it was that the whole point of coming here the stick I'd broken off was surprisingly hard and he gave me the other <laughs> from the club washroom now cut in half along its length by hey, maybe it is a real towel <laughs> With a flourish, I tied the end of the... <laughs> I don't... This... We're back in the... We're back in the territory of I don't know why I'm doing any of these things. George, why did you do that? <laughs> I'm now in possession of the patented Stobart stick towel. If I could only think of a use for it. That's not helpful, George. Okay, I... Oh, here we are. Centuries of hot days and cold nights. Deep into... Climb it. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Okay, well then get... I could see... <laughs> oh, <laughs> not for his foot. For an object. Can we use I the stick? Okay, he said it again. <laughs> I don't know why he said it again. <laughs> oh, I understand. Uh, this... <laughs> okay. Well, Alright, George. That looked really safe. But I Sarcasm. Hadn't I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. <laughs> but I'm going to do it with this towel. <laughs> it's a lot longer than I thought it would be, too. Yeah, take your time, George. It's not like we're, I'm making a fucking video here. <laughs> Close up, the niche looked somehow <laughs> artificial. I didn't like the idea, but hey, what the hell? All right. I was only risking mutilation. I feel like he said that exact same thing before. And no scorpion stung me, for which I was very grateful. But there was something in there. All right, take it. Ring, as wide as my hand. All right, take it. <laughs> Did you take it? 
bracelet? Oh, he won't take it. Well, let's shake hands with the metal ring. <laughs> it's electricity, right? This game seems to think. We took... <laughs> Didn't seem right to take the toilet keys, but I will, I will abscond with the flush chain. Okay, can we take the ring then? He told me about it. Will he take it? Okay, he can't get his hand back out. And pulled. Okay, no, it just opens the door. Why didn't you do that the first time, George? There's something in here. <laughs> Not gonna. Do anything with it. Oh god. Around the corner I found the <laughs> Oh my god. Klaus oh, this is someone we're looking for. Twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man, no <laughs> The door slammed shut, trapping me. Well, we're better at puzzles than Klausner. <laughs> so let's let's be let's A stone head. It was a strange image, but a powerful one, redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue. Uh, okay, uh, Klausner, have we met? <laughs> I don't think so. Might be handy for How long has this guy been dead? But they're no use when you're trapped in a cave. Klausner clearly fancied himself as a latter-day Indiana Jones. You're, you're making jokes about the dead man's fashion sense, George. Dirk. Dirk. So much for whips. Is there anything? I couldn't see it apart from his face, and that seemed... Well, yeah. He would have been pretty smart to get this far, but he was still dead. <laughs> Asshole, the George. No phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. You'd think international conspirators would go around better equipped. That was Klausner related to the hash hashing. <laughs> Why did you say do that line again, George? Klausner once there was nothing on his body. <laughs> okay, I guess it was the end of the day, and even th <laughs> this whole scene must have been at the end of the day. Because George doesn't sound like he gives a fuck. He's like, I just want to read the rest of these lines and get out of here. Okay. Can't take anything. All right. All right, let's get to solving this puzzle that Klausner was too dumb to solve. <laughs> I couldn't take the inscription with me. All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In Occidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. You know what it means, George? No. Okay. Pointless. What else is in here? Let's not, uh, let's not dig at the claw at the door like Klausner did. It's just a waste of energy. But let's have a look at it, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice faint bloody finger marks on the right. Yeah, I, we already figured that part out. <laughs> Yeah, I get it, George. It happened. <laughs> we don't have to dwell on that. <laughs> it's, it's not our corpse. Let's keep it that way. A stone. I couldn't think of anything to do. Okay, let's try this. No, let's try this. No, <laughs> there's not many objects here, it seems. So at least try everything on everything might be a... Oh, wait. Can we just prize the door open with this? No. George, come on. You gotta meet me halfway, son. <laughs> Why do we still have this fucking the tissue? tissue Thought <laughs> we used this. <laughs> hmm. It was the shake and shock buzzer I'd been... So oh, maybe we can bring Klausner back to life. <laughs> no, you won't do it. I couldn't do that. Uh, maybe, maybe he's maybe he's hiding something inside him. <laughs> you thirsty, buddy? I couldn't do. I couldn't do. Whatever. Uh, A stone. Oh boy. 
What about this? <laughs> Show it the picture. What about this? How about, hey, how about this? No, how about this? We already tried that, didn't we? What about this? Okay, I think that's everything we can try on that. The, how many objects? There's the corpse has three objects. There's this, In which we can look at, but then he just automatically goes away. Can we use stuff on this? Don't know. <laughs> probably not. Probably, probably pointless. What if we wipe grease all over it? <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Why, can we... I, You know, the the whip wasn't helpful for him, but why don't we take it? I couldn't do that. The All right. Smash the bottle. Shake hands with the bottle. <laughs> Put plaster in the bottle. So, so there's just no point. There's no point in looking at any of this stuff anymore. I, I don't... Why does it give me a close up if I can't do if there's no point? I, I didn't get anything out of this, did I? I couldn't do that. I tried all these things. I couldn't do. That. He just says I couldn't couldn't do that. I don't know what any of that means. to do with the statue apart from scaring small children. Well, you better think of something, George, or you're going to die. <laughs> I'm here safe in my living room. <laughs> I examined the door and lo, I looked and found nothing. I couldn't faint as if I and lo, I looked for and found. Okay. Was I, I wasn't supposed to do something beforehand, was I? Oh God! All right, where's where's that fucking walkthrough? This is walkthrough time. Ah. <laughs> uh. Rocket sword. I didn't leave the walkthrough up. I'm always, I'm always hopeful. I'm always optimistic, <laughs> even when I shouldn't be. All right, back to Mavia. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, look on his jacket. <laughs> Fucker, you fucking game. I really fucking hope future games in this series have a look at all the stuff button. So which one is this jacket? This is his jacket? I've done more fun things in my life than searching Great. the corpse. I searched his body, but I'm not going to fucking search his jacket. You have to click on this other part. There's You, you clicked. No, you clicked over here. You need to click over here. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. Fuck. Fuck you, Revolution. You're fucking pulling me by, around by the dick. You've been doing it more and more lately. From a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the time, not a crystal ball. Okay. The mount's open. It must be Ultar. My God. If he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar! Don't come in! It's a trap! Stay where you are! Wait. <laughs> you. Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most... <laughs> Lord. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to... Oh, it's Ultar. Ultar's the guy that drove me here. <laughs> I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. All right, that's fine. Wait, can we get rescued by Nico for, for some reason? <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Don't want to. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. I can just go around the corner. Unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. You can't, you literally can't hit me if I just duck around this corner. Or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Okay, see, now just dodge to the left. If he comes in, first of all, he has to come around the corner. You can blindside him. 
when he comes around the corner. Where shall we? You, you'll be in a bit of a standoff, and then he'll be stuck in there with you. Are you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Who? Who's Klausner? Oh, uh, yeah, he's corpse. Uh, but I'm the devil. Klausner. Who the hell's Klausner? I followed his trail here, as I believe did you. I never heard of this Klausner guy before. I just asked around about strangers and got lucky. Luck is a commodity that you are sorely pressed for now, Mr. Stobart. I have been watching you since you arrived in Marib. You have? I never noticed you. Precisely. Is he Dwayne? <laughs> it was Dwayne all along. <laughs> it was Dwayne and Dwayne's wife. Both of them. Now, where is Klausner? Alright, fine. Okay. He's a corpse. <laughs> He's just around the corner of the cave. Do you want to look? I shall trust you on that. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration, by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspect... Nope, read it again. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, no. Read it again. Face the script. One of the two. <laughs> uh, no. Fuck no. Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Acadenta? Okay, <laughs> In Oramundi. Ah, the word... You just say, uh, yes. what, what do I look like, a Latin expert to you? Roughly, it means to the west, to the edge of the world. Why didn't you say that earlier, George? It tells me where the sword of Baphomet lies. Mr. Stone Baphomet. <laughs> tells you that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks. What does that mean? You're going to throw me off the cliff? I no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man. Like a dog. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Obviously, I want to try, die like a dog. I've got money. Maybe we can cut a deal. You disappoint me. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. I should like to shake your hand. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Okay, you knocked the gun out of his hand. The gun was dropped. The canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Yeah, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> the worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? No, oh, yeah. it's well, shattered. Really? <laughs> well, I have to say... Shut up, uh, George. Sure, yeah. Shut your mouth. Not more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. <laughs> anyway, you did just fun on your own. All right, good. I don't want to look at the manuscript now. I'll see you later. <laughs> see you later, and uh, that's good. Yes, uh, where's the button? This one. See you next week on Mystery Mondays for more puzzles. More increasingly brain-dead puzzles. <laughs>